world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Well, I hope I get this video out today because it's quite late already. Anyway, I, well, almost started my holiday. Um, I'm not at work anymore, but I'm still working for a few days. And then in a little while, we will be going to the beach and we will be playing in the sand and camping there okay um i don't know if i said that in the previous video anyway so we'll be doing that in a little while but for today because it's in patrick's day we are talking about my green knife okay now this thing if you want to see how i got this knife you'll have to watch the previous video because this was not the thing i bought but it's close enough and it's awesome i like it okay so we're enjoying a beer today it is called striped horse premium lager and this stuff is made in cape town so it's a south african beer not an irish beer um yeah i went to buy guinness and i came back with a lot of red ach not red horses striped horses it's a zebra anyway let's leave that there so you can enjoy my beer with me Okay, so let's look at this thing. Okay, so um, I actually read up a bit on this knife. This thing is quite cool. Okay, it feels quite nice in hand. I'll talk about this horrible thing over here. And then the action on this thing is quite nice. And then unlike other knives, this thing has multiple deployment options. We can spidey flick it. We can thumb flick it. We can flipper tab it, and that's normally where the list ends. But this one we can also, yes, I hate this, but you can front flick it. Okay, so this thing has got as many deployment options as one knife could have. Okay, look at it, look at it, look at it. It's actually quite nice. I added this thing, um, it's not a big knife, and then if you want that extra little piece of grip over there, you can hold on to the little lanyard. Because this is like a three fingers and the fourth one goes onto the flat at the bottom there. Okay, so yes. Um, you can choke up a little bit, but then you're doing the thing where you pretty much grab it. And then you're not going to stab with it this way, but you can cut things close. And I think I just cut myself. We see blood yet. Okay, we're good. Anyway, um, the two holes make it so cool. And even if you just catch that little groove over there, it will shoot open. Okay, there it says Fox Edge. We can see the beautiful aluminum handles. Over there we see the spider. Okay, this thing is called the Atrax. Now, apparently that is an extremely poisonous spider. Um... I don't know it, I don't know anything about the spider, but it's still a cool little picture. Anyway, it's the FE026 and it's an 8CR13MOV. Okay, while you're looking at this, I'm going to give you specs on this thing. Okay, so Atrex, green aluminum, overall length, it is 6 point, from there till there, 6.69 inches, which is 170 millimeters. The blade length on this guy, um, from there to there, is 80 millimeters, which is 3.15 inches. The handle length, from there to there, is 90 millimeters or 3.54 um, inches. The weight on this guy, like I said, um, yeah, okay, if you are one of those, uh, what's it, inch per ounce guys, um, you might be losing out on a little bit, but not so much. So the weight on this thing is 96 grams and it's 3.3 ounces, which is still quite light. Okay, um, blade thickness on this guy. Let's see if we can see that. Over there, the blade thickness is 3 millimeters, which is 0 0.12 inches. Um, as I said, it's HCR13 MOV. It's got a flat grind. It's got a black stone wash. There's a name for the type of coating they have on here, but I'm not even going to attempt to say that. Then the handle material is D-type aluminum. It's been anodized green. 
Okay, so it's not a spray paint or anything like that. We have a G10 backspacer um, and it's black. <laughs> I hope you can see that. Uh, we just had focus and we lost it. Okay, there we go. Black G10 backspacer, um, right hand tip up. Um, yeah, tip up right hand only. You cannot change the pocket clip. It's only that one side. Um, but I must say, if I was a lefty, I would still put this in my other pocket because I am a righty and I can do pretty much everything with this thing with my left hand, which is pretty awesome for me because my left hand is extremely slow. Ow! Is an extremely slow learner. Like I just showed you there uh, several times. Okay, it's uh, running on washers. Um, the copperiness or whatever we saw previously. If you watched the previous video. Look in there. Okay, now I see like a weird white thing. But it's not actually white. It looks more coppery. I don't know what I saw there. Maybe a scratch. Where's my flashlight? Okay, can you see the washers? I don't know what they're made of. It's some kind of metal washer, but it looks black. So, I don't know, maybe it's black washers. I don't know, steel or something. I have no idea. Anyway, so it's running on washers. Um, it's made in Montiago, the knife basin of Italy. So it's made in Italy by Black Fox Cutlery. So this thing is super Italian. If you smell it you can still now i wanted to say pasta sauce i'm so sorry anyway that's stereotyping anyway i love this thing and it's made in italy and it was designed by dennis simonuti and he does quite a lot of designs for um what do you call these people for fox knives okay now like i said this is a fox edge look there and we have the three tiers so we have fox um, black fox and fox edge now according to me black fox was already the budget um, brand now i don't know if this is more budget or just a sister of black fox but either way we can see the little black fox logo there do you see that little thing that's normally the black fox logo but Either way, this thing is quite fantastic. And I have grown to love it. Even though I got it like an adopted baby. It's something I didn't want. It was left on my doorstep and then I got it and now I love it. Um, oh, my one gripe with this knife. I love this thing. Everything about it. The size is fine. It's small, but it works. It's light. It does everything. Quite an awesome blade shape there. Tilted handle makes it way more useful than you would think. Because you could even work on a flat board with this. Look at the amount of rock I get on a flat board. Okay. Because it's lifted a bit. Okay. And that's without just pinching it. That's with my fingers at the bottom. Okay. We can still get quite a lot of blade contact. Anyway. So this is quite an awesome knife. But. Um, sometimes. We complain that the access to the lock bar is limited. Now look at this thing. Do you see the lock bar sticking out over there? And it's jumped. Look from the other side. It sticks out that much. So if you're bearing down on this thing, or not even bearing down, just holding it tightly, it cuts into your finger over there. Not cut. Cut might be a strong word, but... It's agitating my finger. So if I'm using the knife in a hammer grip, it is quite annoying. Well, even in a saber grip. Okay. Um, so, yes, that's fine. But this is one of the few knives I actually want to go grind off the um, jumped parts of the lock bar. Because that's a bit much. Okay. Do you see that? Yeah. So that's a bit much. But apart from that, this thing is fantastic. I love everything about it. The jumping on the lock bar. That's my only thing I can think of not to like about this knife. Well, it would have been nice if this thing could be placed on the other side. But like I said, 
you can if you really need to carry it the wrong way around in your pocket and then just and then i do it wrong again okay happy st patrick's day that's me green beer bottle green knife happy happy it's thursday stay safe happy and have a good one goodbye Thank you.